up, dudes? It's your boy Alfredo Mancuso, and for today's How to Tuesday, we're gonna be covering the how to half cab crank flip or half cab kick flip, depending on what part of the country you're in or the world. As you can imagine, this trick is more of like an intermediate trick to more of an advanced trick. But on this channel, and if you've been following along, we've done the how to 180, how to crank flip, how to half cab, how to full cab, and now I think you guys are ready to see the how to half cab crank flip, right? Okay. Enough of the mumbo jumbo, let's begin. So number one, you wanna make sure that you have the 180s pretty dialed. You wanna make sure that your crank flips are on point. And then you wanna make sure that you're comfortable with doing half cabs and doing them with some good pop. So what does that mean? Go into the 180, you're about to turn around and you don't just like turn around your front end, you actually have to like fakie and then 180 and actually use your momentum to carry you forward but also pop you up. Ideally, you wanna even pretend that you're going over something so that you can get nice and comfortable in the air. You don't really need to go that high to do the crank flip but it does help to have some hang time and it looks way better. One thing to make sure that you guys all have clear, I'm not trying to act cool, I'm just more comfortable this way but for you guys, wear shin guards. It's honestly kind of like dumb on my part to not wear them all the time but you know, I felt like I could bang this up pretty quickly. And even I, that have been doing kickflips for, I don't know, 10, 15 years now, I got a good shinner. So, you don't wanna do that. Wear some shin guards or wear thick socks, maybe those uh, FP insole socks with the built-in shin guards. Do something but protect your shins because, you know, 10, 15 years from now, your shins are not gonna look that great and your leg modeling career is gonna be in shambles and you're gonna blame your boy Alfredo and I'm not gonna be stoked, so wear some shin guards. So now that we have the concept in our head, let's try to do the half cap prank flip. A little secret that a lot of people don't know about when doing half cap variations is that you wanna under rotate the 180. The reason for that is that you don't wanna do a full 180 in a straight line and then have to back pedal or fakey backwards in a straight line. What you wanna do is take advantage of the momentum and the fact that when you under rotate or alley-oop a little bit, it already makes you land in a position where you're gonna wanna carve and do a spin. And sometimes you'll notice that as you're learning 180s, if you do under rotate, it'll actually force you to go into like a spiral. So that's what we're trying to emulate. You're trying to under rotate a little bit or alley-oop. Alley-oop just means that if you're gonna turn to the right, you're gonna slightly turn left first and then right. In theory, it forces you to kinda of like travel a little bit backwards. Or if you under rotate, you're not getting the full 180, so you're gonna land, let's say 160 degrees, your wheel is gonna be slightly turned, and when you do that, it's actually gonna make you kind of like already start the rotation of the half cab, and then all you have to really do is yank it, tuck it, and you're seizing. So if you look very carefully when I'm doing these 180s, you'll notice that it's a little under-rotated. I'm landing with the front tire slightly turned, and that's already beginning the half cab. So now that you're getting comfortable with doing really good half cabs, and you really took control, and you're landing, you're turning around really quickly, and you're popping, now the next step is to incorporate the crank flip. And what you wanna do is, as you're faking and you're turning, you wanna turn the initial, maybe like 15 or 30 degrees. And as you start doing that, you wanna start popping. You wanna have your front end slightly up, and then you're gonna start lifting the back end and tucking it into your butt. As you're doing that, when you're about 35 to 45 degrees into that rotation, that's where you're gonna kick flip. So as you can see here, I'm faking, I'm turning around, right around that 45 to somewhere between like 30 to 70 degrees. You don't wanna do it past 90 because then you'll over rotate. So again, you're starting that rotation, you're carving, you're popping, then you kick flip. Lots of cars, sorry. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a tutorial in front of my house and I forgot that even though it's a residential area, there's still a lot of cars that come by and kind of distract me, so sorry about that. As you're rotating and popping, and you're doing the crank flip, it's very important that you have the front end in the air, you're about to lift the back end. As you're lifting the back end, you wanna scoop and push down with your back foot, make sure that the crank flip is gonna rotate. And your first few, you're gonna notice that if it's coming around too quickly, if the crank flips are spinning too much, if you're over rotating the rotation, or you just don't feel comfortable, all you really have to do is kinda of like spread your legs apart and land like almost a little bit in the splits. So I didn't particularly have time to really warm up this morning when I was doing this tutorial. So you'll see like quite a few goof ups where I just basically do the splits and try to avoid my pedals from bouncing and hitting me anywhere in the shins. Also be careful if you have two or four pegs, 
you're also very prone to get hit by the peg. So again, if you kind of like land with your legs apart and kind of like let the seat very precariously bounce underneath the undercarriage, then you'll be a little more safe. But just be careful with all that stuff. Again, BMX is kind of dangerous, so you can get hurt. Full disclaimer. Once you start getting comfortable, you're doing the half cab, you're crank flipping, and you know, you're getting close, you're stomping one foot, Or maybe you're getting both feet on, but you're bouncing, like I've done a couple of those. The real secret is that when you're doing the cab and the crank flip, you wanna kinda be dramatic with this. You wanna like, again, pop high, crank flip, but you wanna do a slow crank flip. If you do a really fast one, it's really hard to time it. But if you do kinda like a lofty or flowed crank flip, it'll be easier to spot it and then catch the pedals. Also, when you're up in the air higher, you actually have a little more hang time, you have a little more time for your brain to think, and if something's going wrong, you can bail easier. And lastly, all you really have to do is spot your pedals. And that means that when you're actually doing the half cab, you're in the air, you've crank flipped, stare at those bad boys. For me, I'm left foot forward, I'm cabbing to the right, so that's clockwise. I'm spotting my left pedal first, and then my right pedal. If you're goofy footed, or if you're doing it switch, then you just have to adjust for whatever side you're spinning. So if you're gonna spin to the right, you're gonna primarily be right foot forward. You're gonna wanna spot the right pedal first. But then all it really is is stomping the two pedals and then riding forward. Again, if you're over-rotating a little bit, then under-rotate the initial 180 and then make sure that you cab earlier. So you might actually be cabbing closer to 90. You wanna get away from that. So again, cab closer to 45 or the initial part of your half cab is where you really wanna pop. Honestly, they're a little more difficult than a lot of the tricks that I've done on this channel. I've been doing them for a long time, so I'm pretty comfortable with them. For you guys, it's gonna require some practice. Honestly, the flat ground is your best friend. If you wanna try them into the bank, that might help, but I've seen that a lot of people, when they're doing half cab variations and they're going into a bank, sometimes they get really steep, and that means you're gonna land like front end heavy, you might flip over. There's a lot of other complications that go into that, so I recommend learning it on the street. Again, I did it in my front yard, it's pretty straightforward. 180, start the rotation, cab, crank flip, land, point at your boy Alfredo, let him know that you've done good, right? All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. I really encourage you guys to learn this trick. It's super fun. And if you do, make sure to tag me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Snapchat. All of it's the same, at Alfredo Mancuso. Sorry about that. It actually doesn't seem like it's even winter anymore. It's close to like 75 degrees today, and I'm doing this tutorial in a sweater in the hot sun. My camera overheated a couple times, so I had to like restart. So I'm just going to have to finish the outro right here, right now. So, you know, do what you do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let your boy know that you've landed the crank flip. Again, it's at Alfredo Mancuso. Tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Vine, RIP. Anything, anything you got, Tinder, I don't care. Tag me. I want to engage with you guys. So, all right. But I got to get going now. I got a long day ahead of me. So, you know what to do. Tune in for tomorrow's vlog. All right, guys. Much love. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. time to live, but that we waste a lot of Sketchy. Okay. Good? Good thing you're buff. That's my dad. I love crank flips. You what? You don't approve? I said that's my dad. Oh yeah, yeah. It's done like his daddy. Crank flip is your father. I don't feel like I have that much control when I go that fast. Is it scary in you? A little bit. <laughs> I'm not complaining though, everyone says I always complain. Did it. Getting close, baby. Yeah. Now we out? Yeah. We heading out soon? I don't know. Alright, Tip Tuesday, boys, let's go. Three, everybody, you heard him. Captain Meej on the Meej.